What is going on guys? Welcome back to another rugby video and today we have something very interesting again to talk about and that is the fact that the Super Rugby South African sides, for example the Bulls, the Sharks and etc. Uh, could be joining the Pro 14. Uh, this has come to light recently as obviously South African clubs are looking to join Europe. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Right, so yeah, the South African clubs want to join the Pro 14. And personally, I think this is quite a good idea. Because obviously, as of right now, the Pro 14 already has the Cheetahs and the Kings. And obviously, it's been working for them as well. The Cheetahs obviously being the better side out of the two. Uh, as of right now, the Pro 14, as you guys know, has two conferences. So in order for this to work, whether it will be an extra conference or just adding the teams into the same two conferences that already exist. And it would also work the way it is now is because when the sides are playing the South African teams, they usually play them back to back to save time on travel. So obviously, if you were to have more South African teams into the league, you would still be doing exactly the same thing, but just staying down there for a lot longer. So how would this work? So basically, I've done some artwork here as you guys can see uh, of what it could possibly look like so the tables would basically be drawn up randomly obviously so like say three South African sides can join one uh, table each uh, or conference or whatever you want to call them uh, and that way then it would work a lot more easier rather than having all the South African sides in one uh, conference because obviously you want to mix them up a bit and you also want each team to play them otherwise it just doesn't really make much sense but you don't want to add an extra conference because of Super Rugby and a lot of people complained about the reason Super Rugby started to decline was when they started having a load of different conferences so we don't want to start doing that basically I would say keep the same two conferences together and have those teams in and I, I'm actually really for the idea I'd like to see that happen because obviously you'd have so many good players the quality of rugby would be absolutely amazing uh, and it would really revamp the South African club game I personally think anyway uh, especially with the Cheetahs and Kings already proving that they can do it uh, the Kings obviously being the lesser side but they have proved uh, over the past season or two that they are capable of winning games it's just they need to keep up that form uh, whereas the Cheetahs do it on a better occasion but I would like to see the South African sides join because I think it would be a pretty awesome thing to happen um, but yeah, I'm really intrigued to get like, you, like to find out what you guys think. Because I know I have quite a few South African followers. So like my South African fans, let me know in the comment section. Would you like to see this happen? I mean, I would love to see the Ospreys play the Sharks and so on. I think it would be such a cool occasion. I mean, nine times out of ten, the Sharks are more likely to win. But I still think it would be pretty awesome to see. Uh, I think again, it would also improve the league with the likes of investment coming in. Because uh, Super Sport, I'm pretty sure that's a big television broadcasting system down in South Africa. If they started getting involved even more of the South African clubs joining the Pro 14 I think it would only be on the up for Pro 14 uh, then that would probably make it what the Pro Pro 18 or something along those lines I'll show like an, a, lo a logo what it could look like now um, I think like I said done right I think it would work really well it would bring a lot more investment into the actual game and the league of Pro 14 um, and I think it would obviously attract a lot more sponsorships uh, it's just whether the players will want to play in Europe. That's one of the things. Because like when Cheetahs and Kings joined the Pro 14, a lot of the players left because they wanted to keep playing in Super Rugby. But if all South African clubs are to join uh, the European side of things, will they want to stay in Super Rugby or not? I mean, personally, from a uh, Northern Hemisphere guy, as you guys know, I'm from Wales. Uh, personally, I would say they would want to stay playing in Europe. The money is there. Hence why the likes of Andre Pollard and Chesson Colby are all playing in France. So obviously with the Pro 14, if it was to expand of all these clubs, would these players then want to come back? Uh, it already depends. If they want to stay playing in Europe, they could always play for the likes of, I don't know, like Munster or something like that. And they would still be playing regular South African rugby because they'd still be traveling to South Africa to play the South African clubs. So it would work each way really. It would really re revamp the whole system of the South African rugby clubbing uh, clubs and stuff. I'm a fan of the Pro 14, as you guys know, so I would really love to see it happen. It's just, it needs to be done right, like I said, because I wouldn't want it to kind of like destroy the quality of the Pro 14 in general. Like you don't want these clubs to come in and then all of a sudden the league starts to deteriorate, players start to leave and the quality of rugby drops uh, in the South African clubs. You want it to be so they're joining and they're having an instant impact. Kind of like the Cheetahs in their first season in the Pro 14, uh, whereas the Kings didn't have a very good season that year. 
Uh, so, like I said, you want it to work, but you want it so the players generally want this to happen as well. You don't want to ha start having players leave, investments start leaving, sponsorships pulling out, and then all the clubs basically falling apart. You don't want that to happen. So, if it is to be done, I think they need good backing, obviously, from their supporters, uh, all their financial teams and stuff like that. And if they generally want to move those individual clubs, then I would say allow it to happen because I think it would really be a big bonus for the Pro 14 to have them on board. The, the quality of rugby would be brilliant to see. Uh, and like I said, as I'm a Pro 14 fan, I support the Ospreys, as you guys know. I think it would be pretty awesome to see my side playing the likes of uh, the Sharks and so on. So, But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of this one. This is a, obviously a pretty short video because there's not too much to talk about with this. Uh, but like I said, I think it would be a pretty cool idea. I'm really behind it if it's done right. I don't, I don't want to see more conferences added. I just want to have the same two conferences uh, and just have the sides split up, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, South African fans, let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you, do you want this to happen? And uh, any other fans then, just let me know. Do you think it would be a cool idea? I'm intrigued to know. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We do uh, rugby videos every single week, guaranteed, as you guys know. Uh, and yeah, I mean, overall we cover everything to do with like, like rugby video games, uh, Pro 14, International Rugby, Rugby World Cup, what if scenarios, like I don't know, let's say the World Cup added an extra pool, or just basically everything rugby we cover. So if you're a rugby fan or sports fan, please go ahead and subscribe. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button down below and uh, let me know. Like I said, answer my questions in the comments and I will see you in another video. Peace out, guys.